we had ourselves another great rivalry matchup Friday night when the Chambersburg Trojans visited the Shippensburg Greyhounds, and there was no lack of excitement here. We'll start things off on Ship's first drive of the game, and Tyler Gustafson gets things started with a dart to his brother Cody on a slant route. A few plays later, Cole Freeze takes a handoff down the right side, and he finds space, racing down the right sideline for a 28-yard gain. On the very next play, Tyler Gustafson punches it in himself on the QB sneak to give Ship a 7-0 lead. But the Trojans would answer right back behind first-year starting quarterback Caden Hoover. He starts things off with a nice pass to Clay Myers on a crossing route, and he runs his way down the left side for a first down. Then on third down, Hoover finds Sam Blevins, and he too runs down the left side to move the chains once again. With the Trojans down in the red zone, Hoover decides to take one for himself, and he scrambles around the right side, bobs and weaves through traffic before being taken down at the three. And a couple plays later, Hoover caps off the scoring drive with a dump off to Carter Edmondson, and the game was tied at seven. But Shippensburg would get back on the board before the end of the half, and it started with the Gustafson brothers hooking up again on a nice play down the right sideline. Then there was running back Zion Ware, and he darts up the middle, shakes off a couple tackles, and gets tossed in the end zone to give the Hounds a 13-7 lead at the break. You want to guess who starts things off for Ship in the third quarter? Zion Ware. He sparked the running game for the Hounds on Friday, racking up 181 yards on just 20 carries and Gustafson would finish things off with a nice pass in the back of the end zone for Wade Mills. With less than five minutes left in the third quarter, the Hounds went back to work, and it started with the Gustafson brothers. Tyler hits Cody down the field, and he turns and hits the Jets, breaking out a 57-yard catch and run to put Ship in business. A couple plays later, they hook up again to give Ship a 26-7 lead. And how about that concentration to turn for the ball and stay in bounds? But the Trojans weren't done, and Barrington's slavery was the spark for the offense, starting with this run around the right side for a solid game. A few plays later, Hoover hooks up with the sophomore again, and slavery is pushed out of bounds inside the five. And on the next play, Hoover fakes the handoff, rolls to his right, and hooks up with Griffin Leedy for the touchdown and the Trojans would return a punt for a touchdown to make it a five-point game early in the fourth quarter. But the Shippensburg defense would make a stand. Two different times after a Shippensburg fumble set the Trojans up with good field position, the Hounds defense got it done, starting with this excellent pass breakup by Dan Lawfer on a fourth and six. The next one came from right inside the 50, and this time it was Wade Mills stepping in front of a pass on fourth and one to give the ball back to the offense. Shippensburg held the Trojan offense to just 74 yards in the second half behind some pounding defense, and the Hounds would hold on for a 26-21 victory. We faced a lot of adversity late in the game. We were only up by one, three, two scores, and then we had a breakdown of special teams, but I mean, I think that's something we really improved on this year. We aren't really breaking down. We're not yelling at each other. We're just keeping our heads up and we want to do our job so we can get back out on the field. Uh, well, at practice, we really worked on picking up the crossing routes because they really hit that on Greencastle. And then uh, we got on the field and they were just coming with the crossing routes again. So we, we tried to widen out and open up the middle and force them to go up the middle. But it's just the running game, they were, they were effective at times and we were pretty effective on our own at times too. So we just tried to do our best. 